Hello, welcome back to my tech one. In this video, I am testing a Polytherapy LA versus Polytherapy LA Plus to see what is the difference between uh, these two filaments. And these two boxes are sent to me by the Polymaker in exchange for a review. Now, approximately a year ago, I already tested the Polytherapy LA, but at that time I didn't use my regular test objects. So I will do that in this video and uh, we will have direct comparison between these two materials. Now, according to the specifications of the website, they both have the eco-friendly formula, but uh, however, PLA Plus has optimized for better layer adhesion and overall strength. Of course, it is too early to do some conclusions yet, but uh, according to this, uh, the PLA is good for some figures with a lot of supports because uh, the supports will be easier to remove. But if you need some mechanical parts, which will be used only on room temperature, in that case, uh, I will choose PLA plus. But uh, let's see first what's in the box, do the testing, and then I will do another conclusion at the end of the video. PLA is in earth brown color, the PLA plus in blue color, and in both cases, the print temperature is between 190 and 230 degrees Celsius. They both arriving on this carbon spool with a lot of useful information on the sticker, not only the print temperature, but here we have the scale, how much filament we have on the spool, and also a very big plus that we have here information, what is the weight of the empty spool. Don't forget that the bag is resealable, so don't open from this side, but here, because after the printing, you can place back the filament with some silica gel inside, and you can close it. And even this product plants one tree. The printing I'm starting with the regular PLA. The temperature tower will be from 230 degrees Celsius down to 190. Here you can see the bridging moment. Sticks good to this PI bed and it looks uh, perfect on any element, uh, maybe just one string I can see on 230 degrees Celsius. So I will print test objects on 220 degrees Celsius to have a good uh, layer attention. These are the last two elements for the layer attention test. Printing is finished without any problems. And I'm ready to move to the PLA Plus. Cleaning the bed. PLA Plus, it's in the blue color. Changing the filament without problems. And then printing the same G code, the same temperature towards from 230 down to 190 degrees Celsius. And this is printing of the last element. A little bit more stringing I can see on this one, but uh, I will print the uh, all test objects on 220 degrees Celsius. And I will use the same G-code for this. Printing was again without any problems. And it's ready for mechanical testing. These test objects are printed in horizontal position. So this is the tensile or pulling test and I'm starting with the PLA. And then moving to the PLA Plus. And very similar brake loads. Unfortunately, I already know that uh, this is not too healthy when the brake is not on the smallest cross-section area. This is the sign of the weaker layer adhesion, but uh, let's test that too. These are printed in vertical position. And this is PLA. Mm, around 20 kilograms. PLA plus. And again, near 20 kilograms, so this is close to the acceptable. And here you can see the cross-section. And now the shear stress, two-sided shear stress. And I'm recording here the brake load. Um, not big difference in this case. And they are shared correctly in three pieces on those two cross-section areas. And my torque or twist test, the test objects has a diameter of 6 mm. And I'm recording the torque at 90 degree angle and the maximal torque. PLA plus a little bit stronger, but the difference is not too big, but the deformation is very similar in both cases. And now three point bending test where I'll be recording the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds under the different loads. 
and I will measure everything with this uh, dial indicator. Uh, this is the load under 1.25 kg, 2.5, 5. This is speed up 20 times. And pay attention to the continuous deformation under 10 kg load. And uh, you can see a lot of permanent deformation on this regular PLA. And now PLA plus. And again, this part will be speeded up 20 times. So this is a deformation under 2.5, under 5 kilograms, and under 10 kilograms. And this test object looks much healthier than the previous one, so it is quite straight after removing the load. And here you can see them side by side. So definitely a lot of deformation on the regular PLA. And it was a lot of creeping too, but I will analyze this in the results part. And now the ISO impact test to see which one is more brittle or tough material. And I'm starting with the PLA. And this is the zero position of the hammer and PLA plus. So this is the zero position of the hammer and this is its position after breaking PLA test objects. And this is after breaking PLA plus. So this means that the PLA is a tough material compared to the PLA plus. And using this equation I can calculate the breaking energy. Broken test objects are similar, only the PLA was broken when the hammer swing back, otherwise it would be in one piece. And now my regular creep test where I'm using this 1.25 kg load. And I will measure the distance between two reference surfaces. I'm locking it position with this uh, CD printed object so the measuring is more accurate. 1475. So this is after day zero, this is after day one, and this is after fifth day. And I'm removing the load now. And this is their permanent deformation after 15 minutes. As you can see a little bit more deformation on the regular PLA. The temperature test in the oven with the M10 nut as a small load. And I'm recording the temperature of the first deformation and for the PLA it was approximately 54 and PLA plus 57. But they didn't deform completely, just, they just started with the deformation. This was very interesting, this is better than the regular PLA. The experiment I stopped on 120 degrees Celsius. And if I analyze uh, these two, a little bit more deformation I can see on the regular PLA compared to the PLA plus. And it's time to analyze the results and uh, I will start with the creep test. And we have this uh, raw data, the distance between two reference surfaces, but what we need is the creeping, the difference between two days. And that's what can we see in this table, which is presented on this graph. Zero means uh, no creeping, but uh, these are also very small values. So what can we see here that PLA plus subbed with the creeping on the third day and uh, PLA plus only on the fourth day. Tensile pulling test and uh, well, the advantage was with the PLA plus uh, it was stronger a little bit uh, 13% and this is the layer adhesion you can see this is the same scale on these two graphs and uh, 20 kilograms and uh, I consider this as acceptable as I always say 20 kilograms for this uh, 4 by 4 millimeter cross section is acceptable but uh, for example uh, their polylite PLA broke above 40 kilograms. So uh, I believe, and I was expecting a little bit stronger layer adhesion with the PLA plus. The shear stress, no big difference here and no big surprises. So these are acceptable values. And then the bending test. Uh, this is a deformation only after 30 seconds. Smaller values are better and we can see that uh, they are similar only except on 10 kg load the PLA plus was much better. But more important is the next graph where I recorded the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds for these loads. And here we can see a bigger difference on the 10 kg. So you can see that uh, on the smaller loads up to maybe five kilograms, they were very similar and uh, they can handle this load without uh, bigger problems because this uh, deformation is almost horizontal. But then look at this, on 10 kilograms, the PLA didn't even stop with deformation after one minute. So probably it will continue somewhere, I don't know, maybe uh, it would have deformation even after two minutes. And uh, here uh, it was much closer to the horizontal with the PLA plus. So definitely for these higher loads, uh, PLA plus is better. 
The torque test, uh, well, these are very similar values. More important is, of course, this load at 90 degree angle. Well, PLA plus a little bit stronger in this test. ISO impact test, and uh, here, this I think this was the only test where the PLA was uh, significantly better than the PLA plus, so less brittle material compared to the PLA plus. The temperature test, no big surprises here, they started with the deformation at approximately 55 degrees Celsius, which is typical for the PLA filament, but what is not typical, that basically they stopped with the deformation after a few seconds, or I would say the deformation slowed down, it didn't completely deform, so they didn't touch the bottom even on 120 degrees Celsius. So if I watch this, they are a little bit better than the regular PLA in uh, temperature test. And the price, uh, the PLA Plus is expensive, maybe $2, but I would say it's worth it. I'm asked several times where can you download my test objects. Well, I will upload them to theprinterblast.com. Link in the description. Another conclusion. Well, another big work is finished and you can download the results from mytechfun.com website. The link is in the description. And I'm adding these two lines into that summary table for my Patreon supporters. So they can easily compare these results to those which I did in earlier videos. About these two materials, well, it is good that we have some eco-friendly products from several aspects. I mean, they are more biodegradable than the regular PLA. They arrive on these carbon spools and uh, they will plant uh, a tree after each product. Now, sometimes a carbon spool may be problematic depending on the printer and uh, spool holder you are using. As you can see, in both cases they are damaged a little bit. The removing of the supports is very easy in both cases and it is very similar. But for this they sacrifice a little bit the layer adhesion which is very similar in both cases. For comparison I checked that summary table. The Polylite and Polymex PLAs from Polymaker, they broke in this layer adhesion test uh, between 60 and 70 kilograms. So three times stronger than these materials. This means you should use them only in those applications where you don't have to big loads along the z-axis. And uh, of course you are using them on room temperature only. And if I should decide between these two, well, definitely the PLA Plus, I think it's worth those two extra dollars. Especially in the bending and creeping test, I can see a big advantage of this material. If you have some additional experience, you know, if you like in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!